Digiexpress.us, a leader in iPod parts and repair, providing our customers with quality parts, affordable shipping, and great customer service. Digiexpress.us. We treat your iPod like it's our iPod. Pry up the top bezel using a small flat screwdriver or opening tool. The bezel is held on with adhesive, so work the tool around the outside until it comes loose. Do the same for the bottom bezel. Remove the two screws from the top of the iPod. Remove the two screws from the bottom of the iPod. Carefully pry up the headphone jack. It should come straight out of the case. Be careful not to damage the ribbon cable attached to the jack. Gently lift the ribbon cable to release the connector down inside the iPod. You should feel it pop out. Pry up the metal bracket around the USB port and remove it. Remove the screw along the side of the iPod, under where the headphone jack was. Push on the bottom of the mainboard and pull from the top of the iPod to slide the mainboard out of its case. Using a screwdriver or opening tool, carefully pry the clip wheel mounting plate away from the case. Press down on the clip wheel and slide it out of the case. Peel off the clip wheel's electronics from the plastic remembering the placement of the cable. Attach the new click wheel electronics to the plastic click wheel. Slide the new click wheel into the mounting plate. Slide the click wheel assembly into the case. You may want to add some new adhesive to the mounting plate. Using a tool, press on the back of the mounting plate to secure it into place. Slide the mainboard back into the case and put the iPod back together.